guys, that is pretty much uh, my thought process on curly hair. I hope, I hope that that helps you out. Um, I'm gonna end the day today. This is the end result. Today we are uh, picking up some supplies. I have an idea for a video. Um, I wanna put out a video every single day. I've gotten a lot of questions about this particular subject, which is curly hair. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down everything I know about curly hair today and show you guys that curly hair is the same as straight hair uh, if you understand hair density and all of that in general. So, um, so I'm gonna pick up some things that I can show you guys visually um, what curly hair is all about and how you go about cutting it. Um, so I'm gonna pick up those supplies and then we're gonna get started. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. So I made it a goal that I wanna make a video Monday through Friday, every day of the week for you guys. So um, today, like I said, we're gonna focus on curly hair. Um, I'm gonna to have to create a couple things, so I wanna get everything set up and we'll get started. We're pretty much set up. Uh, one more thing I have to get, which is the secret weapon of today. So I'm gonna grab it real quick. So I think I finally got everything together. I got all my supplies. I got dry erase markers, dry erase board. And the key factor in this whole thing is these magnetic sketch heads from Pivot Point uh, that you can get on freeslineeducation.com. I'm going to uh, use these to draw out my thought process on curly hair. And then we are going to create curly hair using this mannequin what already has a haircut with this perm. Yes, I'm gonna perm. And this will be my third perm this year, or not this year. In the last year, this will be my third perm. Um, so don't judge my perming skills. We're gonna perm the mannequin real quick. Then I'm gonna lay down my thoughts with the magnetic sketch heads. Then we're gonna go over the mannequin after it processes. So here we go. Okay, so I just realized that halfway through perming this mannequin head that first off, there was no skill involved in that whatsoever. Um, but I did go through vertically with elevation, so I'm hoping to show you guys kind of that curl bouncing up. What I realized is I probably could have done the same thing with a curling iron uh, if I would have thought about it and it would have been faster and had the same effect. But whatever, we permed it. Now we're gonna let it process and then uh, I'll show you the end result. <laughs> So one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this and why I wanted to put out a video every single day uh, for you guys is this really, it, it opens up my mind to haircuts that I've thought about or ways of cutting hair that I've thought about, pushes me to every day think about haircutting in a different way. So what we're gonna talk about in this is haircut shape because a lot of you have questions about curly hair and curly hair to me, I don't understand why there's systems on cutting curly hair because honestly, it's all about shape and it's all about how much weight you take out, how much weight you leave on and uh, it really has nothing to do with the fact that the hair is curly. Um, so you don't need to go to a curly hair specialist. Every one of us as hair cutters should be curly hair specialists if we're hair cutting specialists. The way that we become hair cutting specialists is understanding what we're doing when we remove hair um, from the head or when we leave hair on the head. So let's break down uh, this in its most simple form possible. Let's start off with the back of the head. When we look at the back of the head, you can go about this in two different ways. Each way is gonna control things differently, right? So we have horizontally uh, parting the hair, bringing it out and cutting it horizontal. 
The problem with cutting it horizontal is as I work through this section, I have a lot of this part of the haircut in my hand, but when you're cutting curly hair, you want to be controlling the weight removal. The way that you work on weight removal is within the elevation of the haircut. If I elevate the hair higher, up in the up higher in the head, I'm going to remove more weight. If I keep my hand lower, I'm going to keep more weight. So if I work horizontally through the head, and this is horizontal here, if I work horizontally and I'm pulling out uh, through there, what's going to happen is I'm inconsistently going to be holding that section in my hand. So now I get a sporadic line within my elevation. That doesn't mean that this is the wrong way to do it. You can absolutely go in horizontally. The challenge is you're not focused so much on your weight removal. You're way more focused on uh, the outer perimeter shape, the actual shape of the haircut. So you need to really focus on your elevation. Now, when you have curly hair, curly hair is going to expand more. The more it expands, the bigger it's going to get. If you don't want the hair to get bigger, you're not necessarily with curly hair going to remove more weight. You're not gonna elevate the hair higher. Like With straight hair, you would elevate the hair higher and it would collapse the shape. When you elevate curly hair, it expands the shape, makes it even bigger. What you want to do with curly hair is you want to remove some of the interior. I call it the interior. Some people call it the exterior. I think that the exterior is what falls over the top and then the interior is what is underneath of that. Uh, the exterior to me would be the roof. The interior would be the base of where everything is sitting on top of. So when we look at the interior of a haircut, the interior of the haircut is what we want to start removing weight out of. You don't want to remove the weight from the top. The more I remove from the interior, then I allow the top to fall over. That is most of the time going to be your best bet. Not all of the time, but most of the time. So let's say they have really thick curly hair. I'm going to go in, I can remove a ton of weight from the underneath and then allow that roof to collapse over top and then go into the roof and skinny it up, maybe using some texturizing techniques or different things like that to help uh, lighten up the curl. What curly hair does, what you guys can see here, curly hair, um, this is straight hair. So straight hair would come out, it would fall down on top of each other, and then you, you wouldn't have to worry about uh, the hair expanding too much. Curly hair starts off curly, stacks on top of itself very quickly, and then before you know it, you have this huge wave of hair uh, expanding out and growing bigger. So with curly hair, what you need to do is you need to skinny up this interior part, allow this top part to come through, and then use texturizing techniques to then go in and lighten up this area to allow the shape to fall down. Now, curly hair people are not trying to get super flat hair. That's not the goal. What they don't want is, the, is it to be too big. Some people do. I, I wish they all did because it's more fun to cut shapes like that. Um, but if they want some weight removed, all you have to do is focus on how you're doing your elevation. I feel like I just talked a lot. I'm not sure if it, that answered anybody's questions, but hopefully it did. All right, so our mannequin head is done. Uh, we're almost done with this video. What I wanna do is show you guys a couple things, and I have to be honest with you guys, this is the first time I've ever permed a haircut on half of a head that uh, is the same exact haircut throughout. So it's pretty cool, uh, nice discovery. That's the whole point of me doing these education videos every day because it pushes me as well as pushing you guys. It's pushing me to do things that I probably wouldn't normally do. So I wanna show you guys the end result of this mannequin. So this is the same exact haircut all over the head. So we went through it. It's a haircut that we did a few days ago. Um, I went through, I permed one half of it, which you guys saw. Um, and this is the end result. So a couple of things that I want to share with you. We talked about elevation and density and um, all of that stuff, removing weight, keeping weight. Um, this is the big difference between curly hair and straight hair. The biggest difference is you really have to focus on weight removal and length. So if you look at, this is the exact same cut on both sides, which I've already said, but you can see how short this side is because of the curl. I think that that's the biggest challenge 
with a lot of people in cutting curly hair is they cut it too short, not keeping um, in mind how that hair is gonna expand and curl up and uh, shrink a little bit. Biggest things there, because if you look at the actual weight of this haircut, because the density was the same throughout, the actual expansion of the shape is out there, but it's not crazy. So I can go in with some dry cutting techniques, which I will show you guys right before the end. But really, I mean, you would do the haircut the same way. There isn't really a difference. So the key part of this video, and what I really want wanted to uh, get through to you guys today, was I get all these questions about, could you do it on curly hair? Of course, you can do every single haircut on curly hair. Don't worry about that. It's the execution that you're gonna make different uh, with every single person. Am I gonna do, just because they have curly hair, am I gonna do it the same on every person that has curly hair? No, I'm not gonna do it the same because their density could be different. Their, uh, the formation of their curls could be different. They could have tight curls, they could have uh, really, really loose curls, they could have straight hair. It doesn't matter, every single person's hair is different. So you have to understand hair type hair formation, hair density, and then focus on elevation and uh, your shape and your detail work at the end. All of that is going to make it so you can do every single haircut on every single person. So as I move forward and I make these videos every single day for everyone, that's what we have to keep in mind. It doesn't matter what type of hair they have, you're going to work it differently no matter what. I don't wanna keep going along with this because you're probably sick of hearing it already, but I hope you guys like this. I hope I got through to you to just share with you guys that haircutting is haircutting in general. Don't go to a specialist for this and that. Become the specialist in every single type of hair and then you don't have to worry about it anymore and you'll know what to do. We're gonna go over to the mannequin stand. I wanna show you guys a couple dry cutting techniques for curly hair since we already went through it and we did the perm anyways. I can't believe I did a perm today. Um, so let's do that real quick and then we'll end the video. Okay, so I'm gonna grab out my dry cutting scissors. I got my Mizutani Puffin. So I can, uh, there we go. So Mizutani Puffin, definitely my all time favorite dry cutting scissor ever. So I wanna show you guys, I got these in a five and a half, I really like a five and a half inch scissor because of the fact that uh, the blade stays really strong. There's not a lot of blade in between the screw. The shorter the blade, the stronger the blade. So when it's working through dry cutting, I don't get a lot of slip. Um, I get gliding because it's really sharp, but I don't get the slip uh, from the blade being weak uh, from not cutting it. So a couple things with dry cutting. Now, I have a comb in my hand. Once the hair is dry and it's curly, um, I don't want to really go in with a comb too much. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of expand the shape out, find little pieces that I wanna work through and just add a little bit of that tease cutting to build up the shape. That's what I'm looking for. So just airing out some of these pieces. What I wanna do is cut in grooves into the hair so that I have that, so there's a lot more flow and it collapses um, the shape just a little bit because you don't want it to expand too much out. So I'll just go into the interior part of the haircut, a little bit of tease cutting, gives it a nice shape. The other technique that I would do, and I'm gonna zoom in on this. Now, because my perm skills are not up to par, I didn't even attempt the, uh, the base part of it. So let me zoom in. Uh, as I go in, I want to see the shape here, and all I'm gonna do is work my way with my scissor and clean up the hairline. So I can work, I will comb this out just a little bit because I want to see where those little hairs are going to stick out and then I'll work through with the tip of the scissor and just clean up that line. Again, probably have the guests twirl, twirl their hair around, see where that, how that line is looking. It actually looks pretty good um, so there's not much in there and that expands that shape out and gives us some nice, nice curls in the haircut. That is pretty much uh, my thought process on curly hair. I hope, I hope that that helps you out. Um, I'm gonna end the day today. This is the end result of our cut. Really cool, nice, fun, curly hair for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this perm experience and all of these other things. And I hope if you have any other questions about curly hair, post them in the comments below. Um, and hopefully as we move forward, even though I'm not doing a curly haircut, 
doesn't mean it can't be done on curly hair. And I would love to know your thoughts on that, what you guys are thinking and what you wanna see next because let's keep this thing going. I love your comments. I love all the feedback. So thank you guys so much for watching. Share it with your friends and we'll see you guys tomorrow.